is your wooden shovel, put it in put it inside it. You then sprinkle it down with water. Water is going to keep down dust, static electricity. You don't want to overheat this product. You then did the same thing in the next building. Once you've opened the sluice gate and set your speed, you are not allowed to come and look at your work. If you were standing here and there was an accident, all of the energy was going to go this direction across the creek. Three to six feet thick walls, but only three walls, flimsy roof, canvas wall here. So if you were standing here, they would have referred to you in the future as having gone across the creek. Yep, for this, to grind up if you're making military or sporting powder. In the middle of your day, you would have put it into other buckets. It would have gone on to the press house for the processing. And you would have gotten two more batches. So in your 10 to 12 hour day, using the water power, you could grind up one ton of explosives. Large production quantities from the incorporating roll mills so after it went to the press house, uh, was chipped, screened to size, and then dried, this is what you would have. This is, uh, you know, if you sent them out for dinner tonight, this is what you would give them. <laughs> um, so this is small bore rifle, a little smaller if you had a derringer, uh, quite a bit larger if you had a cannon. So we're putting about as much in here as would be required for uh, small bore rifles that, that you were out to hunt small game with. So we, we place that into our tester and we close that up. What I need you to do is to be 10 feet away. Uh, we should hear a pop, we should see some smoke, and if it's good, the wheel will rotate somewhere around halfway. <laughs> 